Hi, this is James Taylor on BBC4. Uh, welcome to uh, the 24-hour, all day, all week, James Taylor, all the time, television network. He says goodnight, you moonlight ladies. rock by my sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dream? I picked up the guitar at the age of 12 in 1960, and I and my friend Danny Kortzmar and we were playing clubs together. Uh, they they were they they were called coffee houses um, or folk clubs, and. There was an open mic uh, evening usually, and that's how people got started. When, uh, w with an open mic evening, it was almost uh, like karaoke, except there wasn't a backing track. You'd get up and, and sing as best you could and hope they didn't you know, throw anything too hard. Then after I uh, dropped out of high school, we went down to New York, and he and I started a band with a couple of other friends of ours, and we were the house band, a place called the Night Owl Cafe. You know, uh, get a cup of coffee or a drink and, uh, and, and listen to the house band. And uh, we died of starvation, essentially, uh, after a, we just ran out of options and, and, and couldn't hold it together for a year, and we broke up as bands do. And I came over here to, to England to follow it further. Rock by my sweet baby James I had a couple of really good breaks. One was being born during the great folk scare of the mid-60s, as Danny likes to call it. And uh, the other one was meeting Peter Asher and having my music heard by uh, Paul McCartney and George Harrison and, and uh, signing to Apple Records in 68. I get by with a little help from my friends I'm gonna try with the help from I get high with the help from a good friend. Had a friend who lived in Twickenham down the way, southwest of here, and uh, he uh, he took me in for a couple of weeks, and then I uh, I found a basement flat and uh, near uh, Notting Hill Gate and started uh, trying to to get a record deal, which which came along miraculously. I played mostly in, in at people's. Uh, houses and parties and at one point uh, uh, parked myself in the underpass uh, uh, underneath the um, uh, Hyde Park, uh, the road that goes up, up along the park there. It was good acoustics and, you know, it smelled like a, like a men's room, but it, uh, it sounded good and, I, and people would drop money in my guitar case, so I sang in there for a while. I get by with a little help from my friends Help from my friends Come along now, won't you help me, my friend One Man Band is an autobiographical show and as much as there is a subject to it, I am the subject. It is not chronologically uh, sensible. It is just a, a reaching into a drawer with a bunch of mementos and tchotchkes and photographs and stuff and just coming out with a bunch of stuff and laying it out on the table and say, see,